Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a video with just a little bit about the accessories that I've been using with my iPad Pro. So I've been using the Vera Bradley tablet sleeve. I will link it in below um, to carry my iPad. I use one of these as well with my older iPad and they're the exact same size. So I knew that it would fit. My favorite part about it is that the Apple Pencil can charge right on top and still zip. So I love the inside lining of your Bradley bags. They're just so pretty. But you can see that I have the Apple Pencil here and it does zip, no problem. There's actually just a little bit of space above the Apple Pencil. So obviously that's an accessory that I have for my iPad Pro. This is the 11 inch 2020 version in 256 gigabytes. Um, I didn't think I would need the one terabyte or 512. Probably should have invested in that just to be safe, but I didn't want to have extra storage that I really wasn't using. And right now the 256 is doing, it's fine. Um, I have the Apple brand Smart Folio case. So this does, you know, fold up that I could use it as a stand for my iPad and it attaches with magnets on the very bottom of the case to the iPad. And there's a nice cutout for the camera. I may invest in a small little like screen protector for my camera just because I don't like putting it down with the camera. Um, which is weird because with my phone, I don't mind, but on my phone, I have pop socket. So it kind of elevates the camera a little bit. So if I am going to put my iPad down um, with the cover closed, I usually put it on top of the case, no matter where I am, whether it's at my desk here or in the living room, wherever, or I flip back the magnetic uh, case cover, which I like that. Uh, just like my old iPad, it auto, turns on your iPad or closes and puts it to sleep, which is really nice. Um, and then I did get a Amazon version of a paper-like screen protector, which I did pretty good on applying. There's just like one tiny little air bubble kind of over this way. Um, but I did, I, I really have enjoyed it. I don't know for sure if there really would have been a difference um, of just the glass versus this screen protector, but I knew I needed a screen protector regardless. Um, and every so often as I'm highlighting or writing, I do hear the kind of texture of writing on paper, which is cool, but I don't hear that all the time. Uh, so I do get a little worried about the tip of my pencil wearing down. Um, but no one else has really said that that's an issue. Um, with their pencils when I've read reviews, so I should be okay. So that's like the main accessories that I use, right? I have the iPad itself, the Apple Pencil, which I love, and the case. I'm debating getting the Magic Keyboard, um, which is the magnetic cover, it floats and you can have the keyboard with it. And I'm not sure if I'm there yet, so I'm waiting. The other thing I've been using, and I have lots of different pouches, that I use for packing tech gear, my chargers and things like that. And one of the pouches that I have is a Vera Bradley, um, like made for charger cord pouch. Again, I'll link it below. So in here I have the USB-C to USB-C wire with the 18 watt charging brick that came with the iPad. I also have just a lightning cable left over from a weekend. I actually have like three USB-A to lightning uh, cables in this bag and a pair of headphones. Um, I also have a USB-A to USB-C uh, port as well that I use for charging my iPad either when I connect it to my MacBook or if I want to plug it into a another brick that I have that isn't USB-C to USB-C. Um, so that's really all I've been using with my iPad right now. I love it. It's the best. I'm probably going to do a review of how I've been using it for grad school. 
Uh, but let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see with my iPad or any of the tech that I kind of bring with me places. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.